Well, welcome back to base camp. We're here finishing up on this cooler bill here at the farm. And uh, it's about ready to rain again down here, so it's kind of dark and gloomy looking. But this Saturday, we got out here. And uh, I'll show you a picture here at the end of this thing of what this thing looked like. We uh, do have a door now that swings in and out. But this whole thing right here uh, was that had surface rust and corrosion on it from old panels being used. Mr. Ben here at the farm got in here. I can't show you till we get the lights in, but this entire thing now is painted battleship gray. And uh, Farmer Walter here retired from the Navy and he was out here helping Saturday. And we, I asked him if he had ever painted anything gray in his life. And he told me that yes, he had painted a fair amount of gray in his military career. And uh, I told him, I guess the difference is, is you retired with 20. My father retired with 30, two years in the Navy. And uh, he wouldn't even use gray primer at the farm said he'd seen all the gray in his life he ever wanted to see and didn't want to see no more. But what we did do, just make it look a little bit better. We painted all that black styrofoam board we added to here. And the roof, we painted it gray on the front side. We got the material up here on the thing to get ready to put wood on. Of course, it's just black. It's all spray foamed up. We're going to paint the kitchen area. We've been working on how and what we're going to put shelves in here. So we're waiting on material and people. The ditch here and all still open. We've been waiting on a load two loads of rock here at the farm for two weeks and four or five loads at my house on the driveway for a month. Somehow it's been bad business and the truck drivers are all starving to death, but somehow you can't get them to work and deliver. I mean, they gonna drop on this road. We've got the next project to do here this week. This whole part of the field here drains down here and there's a swell and it floods right here by the building so we're gonna get here today and dig this ditch here a little deeper down here and dig the swell down hopefully before it rains we do need a little bit more siding here on the edge come up this side and across the front then we're gonna go ahead and we are putting uh like i said before I'll make a separate video on CoolBots, which is an electronic device that fools an air conditioner. And we're going to have one on this side of the board and one over here. Uh, two 18,000 BTU air conditioners with this electronic device. And it'll actually, they'll take this cooler down to 35 degrees. It'll run between 35 and 37, which is where you need it for berries. And uh, we'll take you around and show you some other stuff and show you a couple pictures of it being built. Well, this is the beginning to the end. Uh, the roof panels are 16 foot or 15 foot, nine and a half inches long. And the cooler is like 14 foot wide on the outside. Um, these panels here are four foot wide. So they're kind of heavy. So I kind of plan this thing to be able to go in. He should be able to lift it with a tractor. Farmer Walter is a whole lot more comfortable on that tractor than being on the ground or being on a ladder. Or, of course, he's a chief in the Navy, so all he did was stand there and give orders. So it's a whole lot better to have him on the tractor running. But um, we're going to slide these things on top of the cooler and underneath that top beam. And this will put the roof on. We'll put a metal band around the top. As you can see in the picture, when I get done, we put two by eights across the top of the end of the cooler on the inside and out and on the bottom. Like I said before, the door was totally, had been dragging on the ground. That's why the people gave us the cooler. Uh, a new door alone was almost $3,600 and the frame and all made it over 5,000. So when you see the pictures of it, you'll see a wood post on that thing to replace the where it was just screwed into a foam panel but uh as you saw in the beginning of the picture it swings it works we've got it sealed up 
and uh, painted it gray. As I said, it made it look a whole lot better and instead of this surface rust you can see on these panels. So um, it dressed up, looked kind of pretty. Um, is it perfect? No, but of course we've got a couple thousand dollars in putting this thing together and four or five thousand dollars in the building and and we got two thousand dollars to put in and air conditioners and cool bots to cool it down we did get a price of a big enough cooling unit to do this a regular freon cooling unit and that price was a little over eleven thousand dollars installed so the two ace well here it is last thing i showed you was putting them roof panels up but what we ended up doing being this thing was free and it'd been used, and like I said, it had rust on it and some of the clips worked, some of it didn't. I had a whole bunch of this R8 black styrene insulation. We've screwed all over the outside. We've sealed up all the joints. We uh, cut one more strip yet to fill in between that. We've even got insulation on top of the box. And we're gonna go around and spray foam any gaps and seams and joints. But we've got the door working. The six by six I replaced and used on the door for a post. Greatly fixed it. The door actually opens right now. Swing shut. Like I said, the last people that had it, that's why they got rid of it. The hinges were busted out. It was dragging toward the bottom of the door up as a bunch of work and weather stripping in there to go but uh it is working now and we're in the process of trying to figure out what we're going to do for shelves we got some for boxes and some for baskets with strawberries and berries and of course now we're trying to figure out what the shelving will be but this here will be the kitchen area and we are going to probably paint this black wall white or something so it isn't so dark and trying to figure out the layout for refrigerator and microwave and a little table back here for people to sit at and uh but today we're figuring up the outside of the building for the metal go ahead and run siding up and down both sides get it out of the sunlight and we'll update you here in a little bit well this is all for now like i said we're waiting on the metal the air conditioners, the cool bots, and material for shelving. When we decide what we're going to do there, we'll bring you back. But for right now, it's buttoned up, painted up, looking good. If you like it, subscribe, tell your friends about it, share it. Uh, I appreciate it, and see you on the next one.